You want to know the key to healthy ankles, knees, and hips? Man, when I first started squatting, when I first started getting into exercise, I avoided the squat and lunges and deadlift because my joints just didn't agree with it. How many of you felt that same way when you first started squatting? Maybe you had some achy knees, maybe your ankles were super tight, maybe you just didn't feel good. You know, that was definitely me. You know, so for me, learning this technique, what I'm about to show you is key to healthy mobility in the lower body. Some people say it helps with digestion, right? It'll, it'll help alleviate uh, any kind of pain you have from tightness uh, and just sitting down a lot. So this is actually the deep squat. You know, some of you guys do this all the time. Some of you guys know this move, but the deep squat is where it's at. And the deep squat challenge is where you're gonna sit in a deep squat, as deep as you can. You're gonna try to relax into a squat and you're gonna sit there for five minutes, okay? So I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna come down here, okay? I'm gonna get in my squat position. Oh, and I'm just gonna sit down here, right? This is my lowest position. My heels are raised off the floor. My ankles are really tight. My ankles are always tight. I run a lot. You know, I'm on my feet a lot. Um, from doing boxing and Muay Thai, you know, everything is nice and tight. So I'm just kind of chilling here from the side. Looks like this. You know, you don't have to be perfectly straight. You know, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm, you know, all nice and straight up and down and core engaged, right? Just chill. You know, my elbows are resting on my knees. And I'm just kind of chilling in this position. You know, you can wiggle back and forth. I'm loosening up my ankles because all this is great for the hips. You're getting all that hip mobility here, all this flexion at the hips, at the knees, at the ankles. So you're really allowing yourself to loosen up. And sitting in this position for five minutes, up to five minutes, boy, you really allow your body to sink into the proper position. Like you might. You might start off here and you're really tight, you know, and then you'll start to sink down into that lower position and get a little bit looser, right? The key is ideally to have the heels on the ground, right? If you can do that with the heels on the ground like this, whoo, that's tough. That's tough for me right now. So that's gonna be your goal is to work on mobility. Getting that proper deep squat if you're able to get in that proper deep squat, then your knees, hips, and ankles are going to be a lot healthier than if you're just half squatting. Because that half squat stuff, um, going halfway down all the time, it's going to usually lead to knee pain, tendonitis in the knee, you know, patella issues, that's your kneecap. So that's your challenge for today and tomorrow is uh, work on that deep squat um, I'll be doing it. I'm going to do it for 15 minutes a day, five minutes when I wake up, five minutes at lunch, and then five minutes in the evening at some point. I'll probably be reading a book or uh, doing something like that. So try it out. It's that deep squat, baby. Deep squat challenge.